We're actually facing some difficulties here. Um, it appears like an electrical problem with the battery and we have to detape the uh, solar array so we can flip it open to check everything and then hopefully get off as soon as possible. Hello and welcome to Italy. We're here for the Italian Solar Challenge, which is going to be the first race of its kind. And the race is taking place here at Imola at the world famous Formula One racetrack. So before the race, we have to pass the static and the dynamic scrutineering to be able to race. And then there will be a tech talk where we have to do a presentation about our solar car. And at the end, we have to participate in the qualifying where the starting grid will be determined for the race. The race itself then is actually quite short for an efficiency race. It only consists of two four hour long stints and a break of three hours where you're allowed to charge your battery only using the energy collected by the sun. Yes guys, it's two days before the race and as you know the standard procedure before a race is to pass the static engineering where the electronic parts and the mechanical parts will be checked by the judges and on the outside we've got a testing parkour where we'll be doing something like a braking test and steering test in a lemon skate to pass the dynamic scrutineering. Yes guys, this is top secret and strict confidential because in a few minutes we are going to hold a presentation or a tech talk about how we build a solar car with a lot of information we've never shared before. And the presentation is going to be held in front of numerous professional engineers from the industry and a lot of famous companies. So we are going to be graded by these engineers as well and we could receive an award for the best tech talk. So it's one day before the race and we are finally allowed to go on the track to gain some first experience on the track and it's a very difficult track here in Mola. The drivers, they have to gain some experience to be able to race. Oh my god, Toby, what's happened here? Yeah, so it's basically while driving here, it's dry. In Zolder it was wet, so we can take the corners at way higher speeds. And when I done that this time, I felt in the end it was getting more slippery. So the tire wear was there and this was actually the perfect time to change the tire because there's almost nothing left on it. Yeah, so I think it's a really tough job for you uh, drivers and uh, yeah, to manage the tires and also to feel the tires. So I wish you really the best of luck tomorrow in the race. Yeah, there it goes, the photo in the qualifying session. 
Like in Formula 1, we will get one hour of time to set the fastest lap of the session to be on pole tomorrow for the race. So let's get out and set our time. So the sun has just set and we finished our qualifying lap and we're on pole for tomorrow with a lap time of 3 minutes and 50 seconds. It's 6 o'clock in the morning and it's uh, still pretty cold. Um, all of the team woke up at 5 a.m. to get here as fast as possible because we still need to get the car in race config and then hopefully we will be ready until the race starts at 9. to begin now we're here lined up in the pit lane behind this nice Lamborghini and we're gonna perform a flying start that means they all drive behind the Lamborghini for one lap and then he goes off to the side and the race begins and yeah we're hyped Off they go. We're two hours into the race now and we've just proceeded our first driver change over here. We have to do this every two hours and the manches go for four hours so we have to change our drivers once. And then after the break the two next drivers come and also change one more time then. As you can see right now, there's a cruiser car from the Bochum team coming in. And actually, we have a passenger there on board because the cruiser car are cars that are way more comfortable than our Challenger cars. And yeah, they needed to fill seats. And um, one of our team members in, is inside there, and we're gonna interview him now. How was his stint? Here next to Chris, who just finished his ride in this Bochum solar car. And yeah, tell me about your stint. <laughs> it was so nice. Let me put it that way. If these kind of cars were riding around in my hometown, this would be my absolute favorite taxi because they're so comfortable. Yeah, understandable, right? Maybe I can convince my teammates to build a cruiser next season. That would be nice. We've just finished our first march in first position and came in here to charge. Um, we are only allowed to use solar energy for charging and therefore tilted our panel to get maximum input. 
We are still in our charging break now and yeah, facing proper Italian weather conditions and I'd like to use this chance to introduce to you Paul, our weather expert. And uh, hi Paul. Hi. Can you show us a bit of your setup? Of course. We um, first have one weather station which is measuring stuff like wind speed, direction, air humidity and pressure and temperature. And another device which is used to measure the sun radiation coming down. Nice. And why is this strategic for the team? Well, because we are running a solar car, we really need to know how much energy is coming down to, from the sun so we're not ending with a dead battery in the middle of the race. Yeah, of course. Okay, good luck then and yeah, let's hope for not rain like it was in solar. The two hours of charging are done now and we've just closed our lid. We're gonna tape it on the bottom shell and then the teams are good to go. We're actually facing some difficulties here. Um, it appears like an electrical problem with the battery and we have to detape the uh, solar area so we can flip it open to check everything and then hopefully get off as soon as possible. We just got an update from the electrical department and it appears like a bit of a bigger problem and it might be the case of a broken down board computer and we might need to replace that and this will take a couple of minutes. Also, wir waren nur vorbereitet, hatten Ersatz und wir konnten das ganze Ding einfach tauschen. We just crossed the finish line and came in in first position and since we uh, also got first position in the Tech Talk um, we, we won the entire race and uh, yeah, I'm so glad we got back on track after the small incident and now it's party time again. And the winner of Italian Solar Challenge 2022, Sonnenfagentee!